What's good, you guys? So, this is my first travel vlog or vlog. It's pretty like hot topic, but it's not live. It's not live. Marcel's not with me, sadly. He's in Harlem, so, you know. Shout out to Marcel, I miss you. So, let's do this for real. As you can see, my hair has grown so much. Like, seriously, where, where does it come down to? It comes literally, like, right here. My hair has grown a lot. So, I'm happy about that. That's one thing about this weather out here. Uh, it allows you for your hair to grow. It allows your skin to look at least somewhat nice. You know, I'm looking a little ashy, but, you know, it is what it is. So, questions. So, y'all asked me some questions, right, on Facebook, of course, like that. What's public life like there? For example, shopping, restaurants, transportation. How is it any different than what you've experienced in the U.S.? How is it similar? Like shopping, I'm not a fan of the clothes here. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The clothes here is is different. It's it's very um I don't know what the word. It's very pretty girl. It's very rainbow. Um, I'm I mean I go to rainbow every now and then. I'm not shaming anybody that goes to rainbow, but like. It's, you know, rain, I, I wouldn't base my entire nightgown, my entire night, or like my party outfit based on rainbow. You know, some of the, the girls here are stylish, so that's a different, so that's a difference. So like the clothes in the stores you find is, is, is trash, but the outfits they put together is nice. There's some pieces here that I like, I really like they cut off shorts. Their, their booty shorts, what? I'm coming back with a bunch of booty shorts. It's not even funny. I'm gonna come back with shorts y'all never seen before. Shorts in the US is is ugly. Shorts out here, bro, they shorts is so cute, dumb cute, so cute. They have like summer clothes that's like really, really cute. You know what I'm saying? Like if you wanna skin out and everything. Not a business attire. Oh my god, y'all, like the business, bro. So there'll be there'll be a shirt like this, right? Not this, not with the cross, but there'll be a shirt like this. And yeah, that's business attire. I'm just like, bro, where the fuck I'm going? Business attire where? Business attire with this? With my whole, like, I don't even got no titty. Where am I going? Like, this to work? Outside, you know, I could be naked. I don't care. But, like, in the workspace, I don't want to be coming to work with my, my, my maracas hanging out. Or my mosquito bites, as I like to say, hanging out. You know what I'm saying? So, what I've experienced in the U.S., obviously, is, like, apples and oranges. Although, they're both fruits because Brazil and the US is very similar, but it's still different. Uh, difference as in culture, difference as in romance, different as in um, language, obviously, but difference as in nuances and stuff like that. Obviously there's differences. I wanna know about the differences and similarities of couples there compared to New York life. Style compared to, to New York, do they, wait, what? I want to know about the difference and similarities of couples there compared to New York. It said, do they got more rats than us? <laughs> I would say that Brazil does not have more rats in the U.S. than New York. New York City has a lot of rats. Too many. Too many rats. Too many rats. I haven't seen, I haven't seen them in an abundance like in New York City. Now, what they do got in abundance is some cockroaches. They got cockroaches in abundance. Like cockroaches is like motherfucking people. You know what I'm saying? That, that they people out here. Like they real life people. They got fucking jobs and they got nine to fives. They brought man from the fifth floor. They are coming in your house, going outside the window, back out in, out in, out like on a schedule to feed their family. That us. The cockroaches here are really about that life. They are completely different. Cockroaches in New York City. I mean they they run when you see them. You know? It's an underground world of cockroaches. Coupling and stuff like that, romance here in Brazil. Romance in Brazil is really, really, really passionate. Latin men, period, are just completely different. They're completely different. They are not like men in the U.S. at all. They do have traditional values and morals and things that U.S. men just don't have. Uh, the woman is supposed to always be near like the, the man all the time, you know, like up under him, like those type of things. Whereas like in the U.S., you know, everybody just goes and do what, you know, I right, bae, I'll see you tomorrow. I right, bae, I'll see you, you know, I'll see you tomorrow, I'll see you next week or something like that. Like, nah, like they love to be near each other. Like they're always on each other. Like that is culture out here. As well. Hair care and why they let that white man win the presidency. That is so funny. 
Hair care out here is a little hard, it's hard. Hair products for black hair is starting to grow. Like it's starting to um, be on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Like for black hair, I'm not talking about cachos because that's different, that's loose curly hair. I'm talking about claspos. Claspos is my hair, you know what I'm saying? Like my textured hair. This is my texture. My textured hair products is like just now rising but it's hard y'all i'm gonna go shopping i'll do a vlog about that i'm gonna go shopping for some hair so that i could do like some faux locks and i'll let y'all know what that looks like and how that comes out but they do do braids and stuff like that they do do braids so i think they do faux locks i haven't seen a lot of girls with faux locks but i've seen a lot of girls with braids and a lot of girls with crochet and a lot of girls with lace fronts the gel here is bad yo I had to get my eco solid gel delivered. Uh, so where is, how big is Brazil? Brazil is really big actually. It's really, really, really big. And from Colombia to which Bogota, which is close to the border, from Bogota to, uh, where is it? Bogota to Rio de Janeiro, it's like, I think it's like five hours. So five hours from Bogota to Rio de Janeiro. With that being said, <laughs> It's pretty big. How's the nightlife? So the nightlife is, I would say, it's really popping. They have cool black parties here. Um, the nightlife is really cool. Nightlife reminds me of what New York used to be. New York parties used to end at 5, 6 in the morning. Now they end at 3 because, you know, um, uh, Negative Nancy will call the police and shut down your party. Thanks to gentrification. Um... The men, the men look great. They, I think they're really pretty. It's easy to get a man out here. It's really, really easy. But I feel like in New York, it's, it might be a little hard. People in New York are just hard, period. They just hard. They just hard asses. Period, that's it. It's not even just the men, it's the women too. Yeah, the men are cool. I think they're cool. You know, they look crazy. But anyway, the art and the culture. I would say the culture here is really, really cool. I'm a part of uh, multiple samba schools. So that's a big part of real culture and art culture here, uh, or black art culture. Samba, samba is so huge here. Uh, samba and funk, funky, funky is really, 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 really a big deal. That's art. I don't care what nobody says. Somebody say, oh, that's not art, that's art. It's art. Um, you know, you have artists here, you have painters and stuff like that. There's a lot of people here that remind me of downtown Soho. Soho, the village, Williamsburg, Bushwick. There's people here that remind me just like that. And even when I went to Sao Paulo, it was like a huge art scene, huge graffiti scene. Like, I think Sao Paulo has like the most graffiti in the world or something like that. Bugs. So let's talk about these fucking bugs, yo. Already spoke about the cockroaches. I had one on my fucking window. He was trying to come inside my house and he would not fucking leave. I banged on that shit. I banged so many fucking, yo, I was banging. He was just like, he was just the fuck? No, you can't come in, period. Like you're done, get the fuck out. Um, <laughs> The food here is a lot more fresh. It's really, really fresh. Like, every day I have a fresh juice. Orange juice, mango juice, pineapple juice, whatever you name it, there's all kinds of juice here. Fresh juice, acerola, watermelon, everything. I love it. The acai is like my favorite. The food is fresh. Things go bad really, really quickly. It's fresh. It's better. It's better than the U.S. Is prostitution a way of life down there? Somebody asked. I'm in Rio, so y'all have to remember I'm in Rio. I'm not in all of Rio. Brazil is really big, again, and it has mo a lot of states. I'm in the state of Rio de Janeiro, and I'm in the city of Rio de Janeiro. Prostitution, I see a lot of prostitutes. It's common to see prostitutes. Um, is it a way of life for them? For every other girl, I'm not sure. Maybe for every other girl, maybe it's not like that. Or for whoever's in it, sure, it's like that. But I'm not around a lot of prostitutes. I don't see that type of lifestyle on my day-to-day -day basis. How has the energy been since Mario, Fran Mario Franco's assassination? Did anything change? Did anything change? There was actually uh, a change within the election back in October. There was a change. Uh, this change brought about more people of color running for political, uh, uh, political roles. 
so that was a really good thing that was like a huge turnover i guess uh maria franco inspired other activists to want to step in now did a lot of these uh candidates win obviously not but that is one change that is one slight change i take that back there was a there was that that was one change i'm sure there's others that uh, others that are like steps towards making a greater impact for a black uh brazilian i mean they got a street named after her but i mean martin luther king has a street too right martin luther king malcolm x who else many people got streets named after shit one day i could have a street named after me uh, she made a huge impact on uh, women and black people in Brazil, and uh, that's why she deserves the streets, but she deserves a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it took so long to find out who killed Mario. I mean, everybody knows who killed Mario, but it took so long for like a proper investigation. The energy is regular, you know, although I have attended a protest, but it was for Bolsonaro. Um, it's, I really don't see a lot of differences. But I mean, it's the same thing in the US. You don't see a lot of differences when people protest or when somebody gets assassinated. We've had people lynched in the US and nothing is really being done about it. Uh, activists have been assassinated and nothing is getting done. And it just goes on. How deep is racism and colorism in Brazil? Racism and colorism, there is obvious racism. There's obvious racism. But it's not like racism in the U.S. In the U.S., white people will come out and tell you they don't like you. Whereas in Brazil, white people will think like they like you, but they really actually fucking don't. And they're only talking to you and entertaining you because you speak English. So they're entertaining me, in my opinion, what I think or the expats that I'm around is only because I speak English sometimes. Sometimes. Not all white people are racist, obviously not. But the ones who are and the ones who do be having that fake vibe, that snake vibe, um, I think they're only fucking with me because I probably speak English. And do I hang around them? No, but I'm talking about encounters in the street. So, with that being said, you know, bada boom, bada bang. Racism is definitely here, clear as day. Most people think that black people live in favelas. Most of the white people, they think they're all favelados. I'm sure sometimes when they see me, they think I'm a favelada. If you don't know what a favelada is, that's somebody that lives in uh, the song. So, you know, I'm sure when they see me, they probably think I'm a maid or I'm fucking somebody, you know, like, you know. Those are the stereotypes, especially black women. Uh, if you guys want a video on that, let me know. So, that wraps up and that concludes what's in Brazil. These are the questions y'all asked me. I answered and I delivered. I hope I answered y'all questions. Uh, yeah, so make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, obviously, share. Come on, y'all. Y'all know y'all gotta share. Like, this is my first video. Y'all gotta share it for me. Y'all gotta do it one time. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So, uh, yeah, make sure y'all share, like, follow, subscribe, whatever, do it all, share. And if you have any other suggestions, things that you want to know, drop them in the comments. Drop them in the comments. Until next time, you guys, every Tuesday, every Tuesday, you will be seeing my video about my life here in Brooklyn.